situation in the world today is very tense. There is a division among the East and the West that is more than it has been for a very long time. The potential of serious ramifications remains as the two forces are log-headed against each other. Wait and see. Be patient. I will not say what will happen, only that a risk is there of another great war. Let us see how it plays out. Many things can avert that. The actions of different people can change what is happening. The Russian people themselves should not be blamed It is not the problem of Mother Russia. It is the problem of certain leaders, aggressive to reinstate the vision of the past. Of a country dominant in the world. They want that respect. But there are those within that regime who see the dangers and are deeply concerned with the trajectory of this escalation. When human beings place power and glory over love, compassion, and the welfare of living beings, inevitably there is trouble. This is a downfall of the human society and it stems from the basic pain within human beings of feeling separate, small, unappreciated, unacknowledged and wanting to bring their full potential, their full glory to the front, to be seen and praised and loved by all, particularly their own group, their own society, their own family, their own culture. To win such glory becomes a passion of the human heart to win power and empower safety that you can control the situation that others will admire you and follow you <clears throat> but that safety is a false safety that admiration does not lead to true happiness It is a false sense of security.
driven by the insecurities in the mind. So the sanskaras, the longing for the great, that longing to be loved unconditionally, turns bitter when expressed in the world of form in ways that oppress and threaten humanity. The driving desires become twisted by the sanskaras in the minds. This happens with the great leaders, but it also happens with individuals of all rank and file. The need to be seen, to be appreciated, to be loved is there for everyone. The need to feel that you are accepted Because in the longing for Parama Purusha, in the longing for the infinite, there is this desire to be seen, to be loved, to be acknowledged, to lose yourself in the glory, in the awe, in the infinite love of the cosmos. In the shadow of that longing, when the woundings of the heart take over, it, that desire turns into the desire for wealth, power, and glory. The desire to control to have control. Those aspects are in each and every one of us. What you see being played out in the leaders that you disdain, that are potential to harm humanity, they are potentials in each of us. Perhaps there are ways you see them reflected in yourself. They are part of the sanskaric patterning in the human mind. When the longing for the Supreme is not understood, and turns into desire to have wealth and fame and power, to be seen and appreciated by others because of wounding, because the feeling is there that you are not seen, you are not appreciated, you are not loved. That wounding turns into, turns a sour feeling that turns into behaviors that try to compensate for that pain. And on the larger scale, you see it played out in leaders who lead many people behind them in the wake of their sanskaras. But if those same desires are directed towards Parama Purusha, if you see that the love you have, the longing to be loved and to love, is the simple truth behind all of these other desires, it is the core longing. 
and the pain of separation from the infinite, from love itself, is the core pain. You may be Mr. Putin or Mr. Trump or Mr. Biden. You may be a great personality that all the news are writing about. But the simple matter is the same core pain motivates. and then becomes expressed in the distortions of mind which manifest into behavior. And thus humanity becomes its own worst enemy. You are the evolution of Mother Earth. You are the evolution of Gaia. You are her cutting edge because as she seeks consciousness, awareness, that which has come from her as your body has evolved from her. That becomes her conscious edge. You are the conscious edge of Gaia, of the Mother Earth. And when humanity destroys the earth itself, you are destroying your own body, that which is the source of your physical form. Your body is made of the dust of this earth. You are of this earth in the physical plane. You cannot destroy your mother. Humanity is on the brink of a change, a great change. And when great change is afoot, there is both opportunity and danger. That is the nature of great change. The old is broken down so that the new may come about. So when there is great change, when there is transformation, there is a fundamental breakdown of what has been that is frightening. People polarize in that fear. They attempt to secure themselves in the past, in past glories, in past ways. They are reluctant to change. But change of a transformational nature cannot be stopped once it has reached a certain point. It cannot be aborted. The change that sits before humanity and all the living beings of this planet is not a change that can be aborted. It cannot be stopped. A new dawn rises. The love of the human heart, the passion of that love is what brings that new dawn. The pull of the infinite pulls, is pulling humanity to its evolution into a new level of awareness, of connectedness to the whole. Some move with the change, others resist until resistance can no longer sustain. In that process, there is danger, as I have said, 
but there is also the opening to the new, lighter, more connected whole of being. The love of the infinite is showering upon humanity. The cosmic nucleus, Purushottama, is drawing living beings and its pull on humanity now is strong. For there is a cosmological change occurring. Humanity has reached a turning point. The ways of the past dominated by personal greed and desire must give way to the whole of being, to attention, to the interwoven, interconnected pattern of life. Because only there does life survive. Love is the media that draws human beings into wholeness with each other with the cosmos that love of the supreme showers on human beings and if one follows that love It brings you to stillness and to the infinite. As each and every person finds that inner source and follows that love, these ravages of the past will fall away. It is a great shock what has happened in Ukraine as if the world has gone backwards as if the world has moved to the past a civilized society of ordinary working people devastated by the desires of an imperial force. It seems like something of the past. Because it is something of the past, not of the present. It is not the way to the future. You each and every one, establish yourself in the love of the Supreme. Live in that. Bring that into your actions in the world. And one by one, the world changes. Whatever the outer situation, the love you have within you, the connection you have to the infinite and the love you share with other living beings, both human and non-human, plants, animals, creates a bond of love. that welcomes the future and leaves you safe whatever the outer circumstance may bring. Are there questions? Are there any astrological reasons for for this, what is happening? The fundamental 
change that is occurring within the planetary field of Mother Earth, within human society, is indeed connected to the entire cosmos. There is a shift occurring. Humanity is maturing, must mature, to go forward, be a part of the whole of being, for this planet to grow to its full potential and join with others. Nothing in this world or in this entire cosmos is disconnected from the whole of the interwoven, interconnected tapestry of life. Yes? You cannot separate any of it out. You are a part of an integrated, interwoven whole. Mm -hmm.